Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at complex or simplifying complex fractions made up of sums involving rational expressions. Okay, so uh, again, the key to this is to look at the small fractions within the complex fraction, find your least common multiple of those denominators and multiply everything by that least common multiple. Okay, so the only denominator we have in the small fractions this time is x minus 6. So the least common multiple of that would just be x minus 6. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by x minus 6. Now you have to use your distributive property. So uh, what that looks like is x times x minus 6 minus 16 over x minus 6 times x minus 6. So we distributed that x minus 6 in the numerator there and then we'll do the same thing down here. So we have 1 times x minus 6 using our distributive property and then minus 2 over x minus 6 times x minus 6. All right, so once we distribute that, we just start simplifying. So first, the thing I can do is uh, use my distributive property here. So I have x squared minus 6x. Uh, now here, on the second part, I want to cancel those x minus 6s because I have one in my numerator and one in my denominator. And that's the whole purpose of us multiplying by that least common denominator. So that gives us minus 16. All right, now in our denominator here, we have one times x minus six, which is just x minus six. And then again, the x minus sixes will cancel. So I have minus two. All right, I think I can factor my, the trinomial in my numerator. I need a pair of numbers that multiplies to be negative 16 that adds up to be negative six, which will be negative uh, eight and positive two. So I can write that as x minus eight times x plus two factored out. In my denominator, I need to combine the like terms, minus six minus two, which gives us minus eight. So x minus eight. And then last but not least, we have common binomials in the numerator and denominator that will cancel each other out. So my final answer would just be x plus two. So I went through the same process, found the least common multiple of my small uh, denominators, multiplied everything by that least common multiple, and then simplified. All right, let's look at another problem similar to this one. Okay, so we have 7 minus 2 over x plus 2 all over 10 over x plus 2 minus 3. So again, I look at the small fractions, look at those denominators, and find the least common multiple of those denominators, which in this case is only x plus 2. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by x plus 2. And the whole reason I'm doing this is so I can clear out those small fractions so I won't have a complex fraction anymore. Okay. So we have 7 times x plus 2 using distributive property. All over. Use distributive property in your denominator. So I'm multiplying everything by x plus 2, each one of those terms by x plus 2. Then I'm going to start simplifying. So the first thing I have to do is to distribute the 7. Then I have minus 2 over x plus 2 times x plus 2. So the x plus 2s cancel each other out. Leaves me with minus 2. 
Then in my denominator, again, the 10 over x plus 2 times x plus 2, the x plus 2's cancel out. It leaves me with 10 minus, well, I have to use distributive property. I have to distribute that negative 3, so minus 3x minus 6. Alrighty, let's clean this up a little bit. Let's get these like terms combined. So in the numerator, I have 14 minus 2 that can be combined to make 12, positive 12. And then in my denominator, I have the negative 3x, but I have the 10, positive 10 minus 6 that can be combined. And 10 minus 6 is positive 4, so plus 4. I cannot factor anything. There's nothing that can be simplified. This is my final answer. And no, you cannot simplify the 4 and the 12 because the 12 is attached with the plus to the 7x. Remember, you can only cancel binomials with other common binomials. Alrighty, good people. Hope you found this video to be helpful and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.